So hopefully you can hear me and see me all right. Um, my phone's telling me that the connection's a bit weak here upstairs, but I'm hiding away from Peppa Pig that's in front of Eden because um, that's the only way that I can get the little one to sleep. So I've both won and failed on the mum scales today, but at least one of them's asleep and the other one's happy. So this video is about connection and closeness because one of the things that I've noted being a new mum twice is that the the closeness and connection both to your partner your friends everybody really kind of dwindles unless you have a real control and focus on keeping those connections and closeness alive um, I'm gonna share why I think this happens and I think that the first really important thing the, the re m most important reason is that it takes so much energy to maintain connections and closeness um, and when we've got a, a, a new baby in our arms all of our energy is going into that new little bubs and it's very easy to stop putting energy and focus into those around us even our partners um, so the other thing also the second reason is that I also think that in those moments of need, in those tired moments, in those moments where um, all of our energy is going into our bubs, sometimes those connections and closeness, um, that interaction suddenly becomes more like a business deal. Um, you know, you're asking somebody to take the baby for an hour um, and that's why you're picking up the phone because you need that lifeline or you're picking up the phone just because you want to hear somebody's voice. So there's actually a reason you're almost giving so that you get and it's not done on purpose um, but it's also not the way that connections and closeness thrive so I think that's the second reason why sometimes when we have our, our babies um, we tend to inadvertently push people away um, the third reason is that we have to listen for connections and closeness to thrive we really have to listen to what is being said to us and again we're tired we're over over everything especially when you've got more than one child and the second one comes along or the third one comes along it's constant noise around you it's like fuzz white noise um, husband gets home from work wants to have a chat I know that sometimes I just don't have any more energy to listen but that's what we need to keep those relationships alive and thriving so on this Valentine's Day I thought that I would share if you're feeling a little bit disconnected and like the closeness isn't there to whoever person, whichever person, I'm going to give you a couple of ways to, to start reconnecting and re-establishing that, that, that feeling of closeness. So the first thing is to actually figure out what you're lacking. So I want you to think about yourself in the middle of a circle and think about who's currently around you that you do feel connected to and you do feel close to. And if you want to, you can actually take a piece of paper and put yourself there in the middle of the paper and draw those around you. And I want you to figure out how close you feel to them and that will be represented in the line going out from you to these people. And once you've done that, I want you to just look at that sheet and say, okay, is this what I need? Who am I disconnected from? What am I lacking in terms of closeness? And that's going to help us then look and see what we need to, to rebuild. And that's the second thing. I want you to get really clear on what you want and think you need. So the way I did it, I thought about the mum that I want to be and I guess out of that fell the connections and closeness that I needed to have. Um, and then in addition to that, there's the people who I love and who, I, who I'd, in a bit, like I say, almost accidentally disconnected from. So I got really clear on, on what my circle wanted to look like. And in a different color, I then started putting those people back in. Um, and then the third step is to figure out how to reconnect. Um, and that's something that I'm going to be talking about in another video so if it's something that is of interest to you then I want you to put yes in the comments if it's something that you're interested in learning how to do then put yes in the comments and that tells me that you want to find out how to start reconnecting with those people that you've established that you want to reconnect to and rekindle that closeness with okay that's me signing out for now and um, Ciao.
trying to chow. My finish button won't work. Okay, let's try now. Chow. <laughs>